Hey guys, this is Silly Sarah. Welcome back to my channel if you're coming back or if you're just here because you looked up something and you found me and you're like, oh, I'll check her out. And yeah, this intro is beginning to be a bit long. Hmm, my hair. I, I'm, I was noticing I always have my hair up in, in videos, so I've been trying to put it down more, but it's just so hot during like summer and stuff. Ugh. Okay. Well, this video is my current obsessions. Okay, they're not current, or they're current because they're going on right now, but they probably started a long time ago, or some of them did. Where's that? Yeah, so let's just get started. Number one, freaking Twilight. I have been reading this book for um, two days. That's how much I've read. Oh, almost 200 pages in two days. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why. I've been watching it. I've been watching Twilight the movie on repeat because it's on Netflix over and over and over, and I don't know why. I'm just teenage girl hormones, man. But yeah, and. I'm going to finish this book by the end of the summer, I'm guessing, because it's good. It's really good. Uh, yeah. Twilight's good. And this is really conflicting to my brain because I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. I've been a huge Harry Potter fan since the beginning of time, since I was born, I say. And it, Twilight and Harry Potter just clash for some reason. I don't even know why. They just... Like, they're not even in the same... Twilight's a romance, and Harry Potter's like a fantasy adventure one, and they're not even in the same genre. But for some reason, people really... People who like Harry Potter hate Twilight a lot, and Twilight people hate Harry Potter. Like, it's a big, it's a big contradiction, and I'm just like, brain overload. Brain overload. But yeah, it... I like Twilight, and I like Harry Potter. I love Harry Potter. I'm actually throwing my sister a Harry Potter birthday in two weeks, and I haven't planned at all, but it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. Just decided. Okay. Number two. <gasps> Grey's Anatomy. I have been in love with Grey's Anatomy since... for about a year. And I'm tell... I, I mean, not since it came out, because I wasn't... I don't think I was even born then. I don't know, but I've I've been watching it like for a year, just like over and over and over again, you know. And like I've been trying to find a different, cause I've watched the series three times, and then I just finished season eleven, so I watched the the ten seasons three times, and then I just finished season eleven. It's so good, it's so good, so good, so good. I don't even know why. Lots of people die. I don't even know. I'll just tell you, lots of people die if you haven't seen it yet. Lots of people die. Lots of people die. But yeah. Grey's Anatomy. Love it. Have loved it for a long time. Cried a lot. I, I can't tell you how many times I've laid in my bed and I'm watching it with my little iPod on Netflix and I've just watched... I'm watching an episode, and I've seen the episode three times, but for some reason I cry every time. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. Love Grey's Anatomy. Number three. Lipsticks. Here's makeup stuff. Late, I, okay. For Christmas, I got all these lip thing, lipsticks. I have like, so, so I've, Lots of lipsticks and like lip stains and lip glosses, you know, and I haven't really used them because I would just throw some EOS on and call it a day. But for some reason, lately I've been trying different colors. I have all of these and I'm actually wearing this one right now. But yeah, lipsticks I've really enjoyed lately. Number, is this number four? Number four, this lotion, and I actually got this in my Ipsy bag, and it's La, Van La Vanilla Laboratories, I think that's how it's pronounced. It's like, 
you see it? This stuff smells amazing. Like I need to seriously find the full size of this lotion if this isn't the full. I need to find it and I need to buy it because like this stuff, it's no harsh chemicals, it's all natural, it's like, it's awesome and it smells amazing and I need to find it. Yes. Okay, number five and this is kind of weird but freaking eh, candles, eh? This one smells good. This one smells like apples. Candles. I love the candles. Okay, I've been I've been really liking putting candles in my room for like a couple months, I think. My butt hurts. Okay. But like they smell so good and they're just pretty. I, I don't, that's the weirdest one I have to say, but it's true. And I have this cute little candle holder and it's pretty and like when it's when the candles lit it shines through all these things and it makes a cool design it's so cool but yes okay those were five of my obsessions lately and I've been contemplating whether or not to put my Instagram and Twitter and stuff like that and I think I'm going to just because I think it'll give another outlet for people to see my videos and maybe someone will want to check it out but if you think I should you should comment down below and I'll probably more than likely do that um yeah Hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember to like, comment, subscribe down below, and I'll see you later, lovelies.